barbecue. It's as much a part of American culture as apple pie or baseball. Although barbecue can mean different things to different people. In California, barbecue means something a little special. Specifically in a city called Santa Maria, where a specific style of barbecue was created. That same style of barbecue, Frank Ostini and his family have been doing for over 60 years. Santa Maria style grilling, which I sort of define as cooking over this oak wood fire, indigenous oak wood to our region, open grilling, very simple seasoning. That we've always done. The original hitching post cooked that way. And so, of course, that's an indigenous style of cooking that's been done here for 200 years. Santa Maria barbecue itself has changed since its early history. Each culture that adopted it ultimately changed it from one way to another, even from its earliest beginnings. The Native Americans were cooking over the wood without any grill apparatus, just hanging meat over the wood and cooking over a live fire. The Spanish came to California, saw them cooking with that wood, similar to how they, they were cooking in Spain, and they brought the ironwork grill with them that we use today. Frank's family bought the original hitching post in 1952. Using techniques they learned from their father, the family has expanded on their tradition of Santa Maria style barbecue. And it all starts with the wood. We cut down the limbs off live trees. We cut them into logs. We let those logs sit for at least six months, between six months and one year. So they've dried enough that they're going to burn cleanly but they still have the essential oils in them so that they have the right flavor. It's all about balance. That's what I learned from my father. It was all, if you balance all these flavors correctly, then the sum of all those parts adds up to a, a very unique dining experience that is kind of special. In 1986, the family would open its second location, the Hitching Post 2. This would give more people the chance to experience the open fire style of cooking, which plays a key role in Santa Maria style barbecue itself. And we all know that uh, everybody gathers around the fire. We do the cooking here in the restaurant inside, so people dine and they can watch us grill right from their, right from their seats here. And that's really special. But at, at most parties, everybody is gathered around the fire. You don't even have to be cooking for people to gather around the fire. So we are so, it's like our DNA is tied into the fire. When it comes to the way meat is prepared and cut, things have changed since the early days. Originally in 1952, there weren't as many options as we had today. Only one, an 18 ounce steak that would include all the sides, costing a total of $3.75 at the time. Things aren't that way anymore, and there's a lot more choices. However, some things haven't changed. The meat is still prepared and cut at the restaurant. We've always called it barbecue, Santa Maria style barbecue here in the central coast of California. But barbecue has meant something else in the other parts of America. But in general, nationally, internationally, it's called grilling. It's grilling over a live oak fire. People now more than ever are seeking new food experiences. With the popularity of food programs in the media, everyone is searching for something they haven't had before. Frank and his family are confident more and more people will want to experience Santa Maria's style of barbecuing. I can see that we're becoming uh, more important, this West Coast style of grilling is being more recognized nationally. And it turns out the Santa Maria style has been recognized as sort of the nexus or most important aspect or the leader in West Coast grilling. The fact that my family's been in it for 65 years has put us in the forefront of that. Plus, of course, we were in a movie that, that helps out. And being a winemaker too, uh, all that kind of helps out towards the the popularity of, of what we've done here at the Hitching Post. That movie was Sideways, a 2004 picture which also helped popularize the restaurant. Somewhat they gave us immortality, something that you can't measure, but when I said the movie would come and go, I was actually wrong. A classic movie will be seen uh, forever, and 
I consider that movie a classic and it was an honor to be involved and to be a part of it. People of the Santa Maria area are proud that a tradition of cooking that was created in this area will continue to grow as more and more people learn to cook this way. I'm so proud of this local tradition. It's something that we grew up with and that was generations before us. It's not about doing all the work yourself. It's about mentoring other people to do this work because uh, it has to be passed on. I know uh, 200 uh, men in Santa Maria that have a private club that meet once a month to celebrate this tradition and they're as passionate as anybody I know. We've seen this happen in other places that the, the old tradition has been lost because people haven't passed them on. The cuisine will, will go away if we do not pass it along and teaching it to others is part of keeping it alive. So they shot for two days, solid, 10 hours of messing around for two days, 20 hours, five minute video. <laughs> <laughs> 